The announcement Friday morning sent shockwaves through the closed-door GOP caucus session. House Speaker John Boehner saying he'll resign from Congress at the end of October, stepping aside in the face of hardline conservative opposition. It's become clear to me that uh, this prolonged leadership turmoil uh, would do uh, irreparable harm to the institution. Boehner has been struggling to manage an increasingly fractious Republican Party since he took over the speakership in 2011. But in recent weeks, the drumbeat for his ouster has grown louder, driven by Tea Partiers who are convinced Boehner wasn't fighting hard enough to advance conservative causes, namely stripping Planned Parenthood of government funding, a move that would have risked a government shutdown next week. It gives uh, the sort of conservative bloc, the Freedom Caucus, a political victory that they've been seeking. At the White House, President Barack Obama said despite their differences, Boehner is a good man and a patriot. You know, we have obviously had a lot of disagreements, uh, and politically we're at different ends of the spectrum. But I will tell you he has always conducted himself with uh, courtesy and civility with me. He has kept his word when he made a commitment. Those sentiments were echoed by the speaker's fellow congressional leaders. Grace under pressure, country and institution before self. These are the things that come to mind when I think of John Boehner. House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi called the departure a seismic loss and said the decision highlights the chaos in the Republican Party. Uh, that resignation of the speaker is a stark indication uh, of the disarray of the House Republicans a de demonstration of their obsession with shutting down government at the expense of women's health. It's not immediately certain who will succeed Boehner, though the most obvious candidate is the number two House Republican Kevin McCarthy from California. But with Tea Party conservatives likely to field a candidate as well, Boehner's departure almost ensures a major leadership race that could further divide a party already plagued by infighting and strife. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.